In this video, we are going over how Zinedine Zidane was able to dominate most of the matches he was involved in. In almost every single team he played for, they would play through him and look to him to control the game and make things happen. So first, let's take a look at the skills that Zidane possessed that allowed him to control matches and dominate them so often. Sure, you need certain mindsets like confidence and other non-physical qualities to do this, but you also want to be good at a few key areas physically. Now, the first thing immediately that stands out when I watched Sedan was his absolute mastery over the ball. I have never seen a player that possessed such good ball control. There is a reason it is the skill I consider the most foundational in football because when you've mastered it, you can do almost anything you want with the ball and Zidane absolutely could do this. He had the ability to take the ball out of the air perfectly, control a wayward pass, take a touch in the direction he wanted to go no matter how fast the ball came into him and it was truly beautiful to watch. You know, because of this, it was always hard for players to even get near him and it allowed him to create space and beat players simply with his first touch or his ball control. Now, if you want to be a player that controls and dominates matches, this area is a must. You cannot be a player that dominates matches without this area. So you need to work on this area constantly and become comfortable controlling the ball in any situation. Next part of Zidane's game that allowed him to control the game and dominate games um, so many times in his career was his mastery over the simple things. You know, many players want to learn the cool new move or learn complicated techniques, but Zidane is a perfect example of how mastering the basics is the way to go. We already mentioned ball control, but he had mastered every simple pass, touch, shot, move, and so on. He rarely did anything fancy. Sometimes what he would do actually looked fancy until you realize that it was actually usually, you know, something like two very simple touches executed perfectly or skill move done flawlessly. He didn't do anything fancy. It would have just been he had done something very simple and effective, but he did it masterfully. Now, the reason I mention this is because I fully believe that you should be focusing on the simple and effective movements and techniques over the more complex or so-called cool techniques. Zidane knew this and used his mastery over the simple to dominate matches and do it in a very elegant way. Now, there are many other skill areas I could be covering like shooting, passing, and so on, both of which Zidane was excellent at. But I want to cover one last skill I recommend you work on heavily if you want to be the player that dominates matches and controls games. And that is the ability to beat players 1v1, but also to beat players and maintain the ball in tight spaces. If you watch footage of Zidane, you'll notice that he almost never loses the ball because he had skill moves he could call upon in almost any situation to beat a player 1v1 outright or to keep the ball and maintain possession. He is well known for his mastery of the Maradona spin to the point where some even call it, including myself, the Zidane. But he has also mastered the step over, different feints, cuts, and other movements that would help him in almost any situation. You have to make sure you're practicing your skill moves very, very often. You have moves that you can use to beat players one-on-one, -on -one, like the step over or body feint. Moves you can use to react quickly to a situation like the Maradona and La Croqueta. And moves you can do in tight spaces to beat players or maintain possession, which usually consists of smart cuts, turns, and using the body to fend off players. And I know this is a lot to throw at you, but that is what it's going to take if you want to start being a more dominating player in your matches. So there are some of the physical areas and skills that I recommend you work on if you want to start, you know, dominating matches in this manner like Zidane. But let's go over briefly the mentality Zidane had in order to dominate games. So make no mistake, the skills that I've listed above alone would not be enough to dominate matches in the way he did. 
If you have a bad mindset, bad mentality, all of the skills above are useless even if you're as good at them as Zidane. Zidane was able to do what he did because he had confidence and belief in his ability. He trusted his skills when he needed them. He trusted in his ability to pick out a pass when he needed to. He trusted himself to keep the ball even when he was surrounded by players and in very tight space. You see, if you doubt yourself, all the skills above or any other skill is useless because you will not have the confidence to perform them anyway. You'll play safe. You will not take the risks you need to take to dominate matches, and you will still probably end up making mistakes anyway. Confidence is such a huge part of any good player's game. And for a player like Zidane, who was usually the best performer on the park in any match, it was essential. All right, guys, so those are some ideas and ways you can start to dominate a game like Zidane. Of course, I am not expecting you to go out there and play like this right away. But if you work on the areas that I've gone over, you will start to see yourself stand out more in your matches and hopefully get to the point where you are that dominating player. Be sure to vote for the next player you want to see in this series by clicking on the I button that comes across. This is the only place to vote, so get them in. Let me know who you voted for in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.